the, <clears throat> the preaching for today. Um, People know it as the rapture. The rapture. And, uh, they, um, they really, I've heard some people say, um, we don't know why they call it the rapture, because the rapture is not in, in the Word of God. Um, what is in the Word of God is, is the catching away <clears throat> and um, I think I found where I told you about it where I believe the rapture is amen it's when the um, <clears throat> it's in Matthew 24 31 but I ain't gonna read it <laughs> um, it's the uh, it's when the trumpet sounds and the Lord sends his angels the Bible says the angels are gonna come and and, and get the elect they're gonna pick up the elect, so it's that's that's what I believe is the rapture. You know, it's like when a bird of prey comes and snatches a snatches its prey, right? So when the uh, when that trumpet sounds, the um, the Bible says that that his angels are gonna they're gonna reap, they're gonna reap and. <clears throat> But uh, for the, the catching away of today's scripture verse, I'm going to read John 14, 1 through 3. John 14. reads as follows <clears throat> says let not your heart be troubled ye believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. And uh, like I said earlier, um, you know, people say that there's many ways to, to make it to heaven. There's many ways to God. And, and yet if you read a little bit further, it says, I'll just keep reading. It says, And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither you Thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See, there is no other way. There's no, no other way to heaven. There's no other way to the Father but by Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us pray. Dear God, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for the privilege in the honor that I have to stand before your people and to teach and to preach what you've put in my heart. In Jesus' name, let these words not return back empty, Lord. Let them go and do what they're supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. And like always, Lord, we invite your presence into this place, Lord. Let your glory fill this house, Jesus. Let your glory fill this house. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> amen. I got a, got a bunch of scriptures here. And, uh, 
um, I did the, um, I typed this up. I got a few, um, few sermons that are typed up and if you ever need any, need to know scriptures or whatever, I could always send you a copy or, or print one out. So this one's on the catching away, the rapture. Um, so in, in um, Acts 1.9 says, And when he had spoken these things, <clears throat> while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. That's Acts 1.10. And I'll read 1.11. Acts 1.11. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. See, so <clears throat> the same way the Lord went, went up into heaven, he's going to come again. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and read. Um, I'm gonna, so that was on. I'm going to read First Thessalonians 4.13. I'm going a little bit out of out of the order that I that I have things, but <clears throat> one I think there's a there's an order to it. So in First Corinthians four thirteen. Like I said, I have it typed and I guess I'd be cheating. So I'm first, first Thessalonians. Thessalonians or Corinthians? No, first Thessalonians. Did I say first Corinthians? All right, it's first, first Thessalonians. <clears throat> like I said, I was going out of order. So I'm first Thessalonians four thirteen. And then I'll go to then I'll go to first Thessalonians first Corinthians afterwards. So first Thessalonians four thirteen says But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, <clears throat> even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. See, we... Um, that's talking about the <clears throat> the catching to the catching away. In verse seventeen says, "Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up." See that that's the catching away. We'll be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So who's going to be with the Lord? Who's going? Who's he going to catch up? Those that are born again, those that are born again believers, <clears throat> um, let's see. like it says in in John chapter three, in John chapter three, it says those that are 
Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So we need to be born again of water and of spirit to be able to be caught up, to be able to become a candidate, to be able to become a candidate of, of the rapture, of the catching away. We need to be born again of water and spirit. The Bible says that that the Holy Ghost is the power of the resurrection. Amen. Amen. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, then you don't have the power of the resurrection. Um, in, um, in Romans 8, 11, in Romans 8, 11 says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. See, if we don't have the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ in us, if we don't have the Holy Ghost in us, that spirit that raised up Jesus then, then we're not going to make the rapture. We're not going to be the ones that are going to be caught away. Okay? So we need to <clears throat> be born again of water and of spirit to be able to be caught up in the air. Amen. But it also talks about, in verse, if you go to first, you should already be there, but in First Corinthians, or not First Corinthians, First Thessalonians four thirteen. No. I, I, I read that already, but in First Thessalonians four thirteen, he says, "I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep." See, those that are asleep, it's not that they're they're sleeping; it means that they're dead. Those that die in the Lord, it says, those that are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. See, those that die in the Lord, you know, you don't have to be sorry. You don't have to have sorrow, it says, as those that have no hope. Those that die in the Lord, they have a hope. They have a hope of someday being resurrected yes. okay yeah. they have that hope of someday being with the lord at the last trumpet mm -hmm. when the lord sounds the last trumpet that's when they're going to be caught up in the air it says and then we which are alive will also be caught up with them in the air mm -hmm. okay so just cuz they're they're asleep or they die in the lord doesn't mean it's over. Yes. Amen. They're, they're going to be resurrected. Amen. Amen. Of course, like I said, those that, those that were born again, yes. those that were born again of water and spirit yes. and that are living for God, yes. okay? You need to be living a godly life, yes. okay? It's not, just, it's not just being born again of water and spirit and that's it. I'm ready to go to heaven and... and no, there's there's requirements like this morning's lesson. Yeah. There's still things that we have to do. Yeah. You know, you still have to come to church. Like the Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together, which is the custom of some. Yeah. So we still need to come to church yes. yeah. after you're born again of water and spirit. Okay. You still have to come to church. You still have to to get instructions. Remember, there's still Romans to Revelations. Those are all epistles. Those are all letters to the churches on how to live for God. Instructions that they need. They need to know what, what they need to do after they're born again. It's not just being born again and I'm ready to go to heaven. No, you still have to come to church and hear the word of God. You still need instructions. Amen. You know, that's that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 
you know, if it was that easy, everybody, you know, <laughs> like they say, if it was that easy, everybody be doing it, right? Mm -hmm. But we should be, everybody should be doing it. That's right. They should be doing it. They should be getting converted and still coming to church because right. we still okay. need to make it. It's still not over. Right. It's not over until it's over, until the Lord comes for his church. Amen. So I'm, like the Bible says, you know, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. Right. You know, we, we still need to come. <clears throat> and um, you know, so now I'm going to read um, 1 Corinthians 15. First Corinthians fifteen. I'm going to read thirty nine to fifty. It says, All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beast, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies <coughs> and bodies terrestrial. And it, it, it doesn't mean they're aliens, it, that terrestrial just means they're earthly. We're earthly, it's us, earthly. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial, which is earthly us, is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in in corruption see we were born into this sinful world where we were born with this fleshly body earthly body but it's going to be raised uh, in incorruption yeah. it is sown in dishonor it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness it is going to be raised in power it is sown a natural body it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. See, so... <clears throat> verse 45. And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. That's Jesus. How be it that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. It says the first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. They also that are earthy, and is the heavenly, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. <clears throat> Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. See, so, they, so flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, so, so when the Lord, when the Lord comes, you know, we, uh, we're going to be changed. We're all going to be changed, and I'll read that soon. Um, this mortal body is going to be transformed. It's going to be transformed, and we're all going to eventually die. But it's going to be just like that. This, this, this body is going to change from mortal to immortal, Amen. from corruption to incorruption. Amen. Amen. And in, matter of fact, in 
in First Corinthians, if we keep reading First Corinthians 51 to 58, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. See, we're not all going to die, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on, must put on immortality. So we're going to be changed just that fast. In the twinkling of an eye it says this, we're just going to change from mortal to immortal. From corruption to incorruption. <clears throat> so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? <clears throat> the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord see our work in the Lord it's not in vain it's not for nothing Amen. It, you know, we're going to, the Bible says, we're, we're going to receive a crown. Yes. We're going to receive a crown. Amen. You know, we, we're going to be, we're going to make it. Amen. We're going to put on immortality. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> so, talking about death, you know, you know, if they die in the Lord, there's hope. There's going to be hope. Amen. And we're gonna be caught up with them in, in the clouds. Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna meet them in the in the air. Amen. Amen. This mortal body is gonna put on immortality. Amen. You know, some people might say there is no re there, there is no resurrection, but yet there is. There is a resurrection. Amen. There is a resurrection. In um, in First Corinthians fifteen fifteen twelve says, "Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no, if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen?" And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain? And your faith is also vain. See? <clears throat> Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is Christ then is not Christ raised? See? And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, and ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. See? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then everything is in vain. Verse 19 says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all, we are of all men most miserable. Some people say, well, if there's no, what if there is no resurrection? Well, you lived a good life. You lived a good life. You didn't do the things you used to do. That's right. But, but we know that the Lord Jesus Christ resurrected. Amen. He, we know that he resurrected because he gave us the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. He gave us the Holy Ghost and now we know 
Now we know that there is a resurrection because he gave us the Holy Ghost as a testimony. Mm -hmm. As a testimony that he did resurrect. Yes. Amen. So I'm going to go to <clears throat> Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And Second uh, <clears throat> Thessalonians two says. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, <clears throat> neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Mm -hmm. See, and I've heard, um, I've heard people say that, that there's not going to be a falling away. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be a falling away. Well, what did we just read? What did we just read? <clears throat> it says, let, in verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. See? What day was that? Of our gathering together unto the Lord? When the Lord comes for His people, it says there's going to be before that day happens, before the Lord comes for His people, there's going to be a falling away first, it says. Okay. And then it says, And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See? <clears throat> so there's going to be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See, so... <clears throat> If the Word of God says it, that settles it. That settles it. It doesn't matter if we believe it or not. If we believe the Word of God or not, it doesn't matter. Because if the Word of God says it, then it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <clears throat> you know, the Lord would rather you believe it and, and obey it and act on it. Because it does it, you know. Whether we believe it or not, it isn't going to change anything. The Bible says that the Word of God has been forever settled in heaven. It's, that's it. It's settled in heaven. We're the ones that have to change. Okay. You know, they, um, I was going to use the, the laws of the land. You know, they, the law says it. The judge, he... Uh, he goes by what is written in the law. That's what the way it's supposed to be. But I guess it still is. Okay, Amen. it still is. If that's if, if you run a red light or whatever, disobeying the laws of the land, and, and you get caught, they they just have to follow the the laws of the land and be judged accordingly, right? That's right. <clears throat> Unless they change it for you. But it's not supposed to it's not supposed to happen that way. <clears throat> but um, anyways in Second Thessalonians two four says Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Mm. Remember ye not that 
when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. Mm -hmm. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now lets it, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. See? Only he who now lets it will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's what I've been finding myself praying lately. You know, I've been saying to the Lord, Lord, I'm still here. I'm still here, so I'm still praying. I'm still praying, Lord. When I'm out of the way, then whatever happens, happens. But I'm still praying. Yeah. There's still hope. There's still hope, and that's why I'm praying, Lord. Yeah. And when I'm gone, then when you come for me, Lord, then I can't pray anymore, right? Because I'm not. I'm out of the way. Yeah. But for now, Lord, I'm in the way, and I'm praying, yeah. like it says, for the mystery of iniquity already works. Iniquity already works. Until we're out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Or let's see. Let, we'll read it again. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Mm -hmm. Only he who now let it will let. So we only let iniquity work until, until we let it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're not praying, then that iniquity is going to keep on working. Mm -hmm. But... We're praying and we're going to let it, you know, we we keep it from happening. Mm -hmm. We keep that wickedness. We put a lid on that wickedness. Mm -hmm. In other words, we keep it down. Mm -hmm. But if we stop praying, that iniquity is going to run wild. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> you know, the... Um, the things that are going on in the uh, with the election and what have you. I won't go politics on you, but you know the things that are going on. You know, you know. We still don't know who the president is, right? And uh, so, whatever happens, happens, and. You know, but <clears throat> there are things that are going on that that we don't know what's going on. Yeah. We only hear bits and pieces, you know, because even the media is corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Even the media is corrupt. And, um, you know, we, um, <clears throat> we just keep praying. We keep praying and... Like I said, only he who now lets it will let. Okay. When you stop praying for those things, then you, you, you gave up. But we, we keep praying and, and the Lord's going to do whatever his will is. Whatever his will is, then that'll be. But, um, you know, like they say, you know, if the people if people don't do anything, mm -hmm. then evil wins. That's right. Right. That's right. Evil will win if 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 you don't do anything. Yeah. You know we um we went to the store yesterday and and we were there probably not even an hour and we came back. Mm -hmm. We came back. I got in the I was about to get in the car and I looked at the bottom. A carpet by the gas pedal and I thought oh that's dirty I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna shake it off so I thought and I looked a little closer and they were metal shavings it was metal shavings on the carpet and I looked and I thought I looked up at the switch while somebody tried stealing our truck yesterday then I, we usually don't use the key to get in. So I looked out the, uh, at the, uh, where you put the key on the door, yeah. and it, was, it wasn't there, it was p 
pushed in. So, you know, they um, they try to take the truck, and for whatever reason, they they didn't succeed. That's right. Um, others that I know, um, my brother Mike, he he got his stolen. <coughs> and they showed him on video. They caught him on video uh, taking his car. And he said within two to three minutes, his car is gone. Wow. And for whatever reason, ours was still there and yes. just a broken switch and, and, yes. and he got the key. Yes. But I thought, well, no, wonder if anybody saw anything. No, and I thought, if anybody did see anything, I wonder if anybody would have said anything. Mm -hmm. wonder if they said anything when they saw someone doing something they were so, weren't supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought, wow, well, they reap what they sow. Right. They reap what they sow. I don't know about you, but hopefully if you see something wrong, if you see something right, something that isn't right, I hope you do something about it, right. you know, but if you don't, then evil won, right? Evil wins. Evil wins when the people of God do nothing. That's why we're, we're supposed to be doing the work of God. We're supposed to be doing the will of God. Because we don't want evil to win. Amen. So, so while we're here, <clears throat> while we're here on earth, we do, we pray fast, we do those things so that evil doesn't have its way. That's right. Because if we didn't, if we didn't do that, things would be worse. Right. If the people of God did nothing, things would be worse. That's right. Yeah. But yeah. it's because the people of God pray that things ain't as bad as they are. But there's going to come a time in verse 8 or at the end of verse 7 it says, and only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. When we're taken out of the way, and verse 8 says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. See, when we're out of the way, then all hell is going to break loose. Right. We won't be here anymore. We, we'll make the rapture. We'll, we're going to make the rapture. Amen. So, if you're not if you're not there yet, you can be there. You can make the rapture. Be ready, cause cause the Lord is coming. Verse nine. Or did I read it? And when and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. See, so those that ain't going to make the rapture, those that ain't going to make the catching away, God is going to send them, in verse 10, a strong delusion, and they're going to believe the lie. They're going to believe what's coming. They're going to believe it. Amen. Because they had pleasure in unrighteousness. Amen. So we... We won't be here for that. Yeah. Amen. We're going to make the rapture with the help of the Lord. Yes, amen. amen. We need to <clears throat> we need to make the rapture. Yes. Amen. There, like the song says, this world is not my home. 
we're just passing through. Yes. We're just passing through. Our treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Amen. Amen. We're we're going up yonder. Amen. Yes, amen. We're going up yonder. We're going to heaven. Yes, amen. amen. We're go we're heaven bound. We don't yes. have to stick around and see what's gonna happen. That's right. Amen. amen. There are those that love the technology and all this stuff. They love all these things that are all these gadgets and and gadgets are good, but you know, don't lose out on the Lord because of these things. Amen. Amen. You know, I've been, there's still a lot to learn. And, you know, there, uh, I've been looking over some of the stuff. They, um, you can Google, um, you can YouTube it, Google it. It's on that ID 2020. Mm -hmm. You can Google ID2020.com or whatever, or YouTube ID2020 and just find out of the things that are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're trying to, they're trying to do what they can to, uh, and it's going to happen. They're going to, they're going to have these certificates. They want to have certificates for these vaccines or I should say digital, digital certificates that they're going to have so that when people start getting vaccine, vaccinated, you know, they, and I've asked the question, not just, just in general, I know through preaching, I, I've asked the question, you know, when they start demanding and, or when they start vaccinating people, you know, how are they going to keep track of who gets vaccined or not? How are they going to track who gets vaccined or not? Hmm? I asked that a long time ago when it first started, when everybody kept thinking and saying, oh, the vaccines come, when we get the vaccine, then everything's going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to get the vaccine, but how are they going to track who gets it? How are they going to track who gets the vaccine and who doesn't? It's a perfect time for, for them to, for the Antichrist to come and start saying, okay, well, you don't have a vaccine. You, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell or any of those things. Yeah. And so it's coming. We're we're getting closer and closer. We're getting closer and closer. Amen. And and don't let what what I'm saying get to you. Okay. Don't don't let this come and and break your heart and and uh, lose faith, lose hope. That's right. No, don't let it put you down. And, That's right. And, and, and uh, demoralize you or whatever, you know, don't let it, this, these anxieties come upon you. That's right. It's time to man up, woman up, and say, you know what, it's coming, it's coming, but I need to be a man enough, I need to be man enough, woman enough to yes. say, okay, whatever happens, happens. You know, if it comes, it comes, but I'm going to make the rapture. Yes, amen. I'm going to make the rapture. I ain't going right. to let those things come and bog me down. Yes, amen. Weigh me down. No. I'm going to I'm going to take the word of God and and just run with it. Amen. amen. We got work to do. Yes. You don't got time to 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 have a pity party. That's right. There is no time to have a pity party That's right. just because the yeah. end we're in the last days. That's right. right, amen. No, it's time to yes. It's time to get going. Amen. You got work to do. That's right. It's time to say, okay, Lord, Jesus. I'm behind. I'm behind, Lord. I've um I've been in this work long enough. Right. And I'm not where I should be. Right. 
Lord, help me grow by leaps and bounds. That's right, amen. Right. I need to grow in the Lord. I need to mature. Yes. I need to start doing what I need to be doing. Yes. Right? Amen. amen. Because people need you, Lord. Yes. People are going to be needing you. That's right. Okay. People are going to be needing the Lord. Amen. Yeah. In these last days. So we're there. We're there. And, and uh, like I said, they're... They're talking about how how they're going to do it, how they're going to digitize these, uh, how they're going to do it. Um, but like I said, they they know that it's time. Yes. It's time for them to do it. Mm -hmm. It's time. Everything else is digital. Everything's digital around us. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking, well, we need to do this. Right. They need to do it, and and they're gonna do it, yes. cause they got they got the money, they got money, they got funding, wherever, everywhere, and uh, it's gonna happen. Amen. And all I hear is the a wallet size yellow card, a wallet size yellow card, but it's just be the beginning. It's right. just the beginning. Yeah. See, they, they can't come. They know it. They got to be, friend, be friendly. Yeah. They can't come and scare people. Because yeah. okay? they know that scare tactics won't work. They got to come in and befriend you. Okay? They got to come in and make friends with you. And show you that... There, there's no harm in this. Yeah. We, we don't mean no harm. Yeah. Okay. We're your friends. Okay. So they're they're uh, they're gonna be doing that. They're gonna come and and they wanna be your friend. They wanna befriend you. They wanna. They don't wanna scare people away. Okay. They wanna make sure that they. Then nobody's scared and they they accept it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, that, that's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's nothing wrong with taking that that um, vaccine. There's nothing wrong with taking that mark. Okay, there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. After all, I'm not going to be able to buy or sell. I'm not going to be able to do any of those things. I'm not going to be able to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Unless I have that mark of the beast. Mm. Okay, so they, uh, it's going to come, and that's what they're saying. It's, it's, it's not going to be uh, scary. They're not going to scare you. It's going to be friendly and gentle and whatever. And, uh, but it's coming. You know, just know that it's coming. They... Uh, they it's, it's going to come in, they said, either the form of a vaccine or the form of a, I couldn't find, remember the word last time, but it's a quantum, they call it a quantum dot tattoo, or your cell phone. Well, you know the word of God doesn't say the cell phone, right? It doesn't say a cell phone, so that's going to be faded away. Okay. It's going to be a little more than that. Okay. But it, 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 the, the cell phone it's, that we have, there, um, it's already there. Okay. You, put your, you put all your information in there. Okay. You could even put your, your health information in there, in your cell phone. So it's all it's all there. It's in preparation for that. Okay, because what's going to happen if you lose your cell phone? Okay, you lose your cell phone. Wow, that, there you go. Then it, it's just a little closer, little person, little more personal. Okay, pretty soon it's going to be your right hand, your forehead. Okay. You won't be able to lose that. You can't lose your right hand. 
unless Guido comes and gets in. Right? Don't pay your bills, Guido's gonna come and take your right hand or take your head. And right? he'll come and take it and be you. But other than that, you know, it's, it's something that you won't be able to lose. But it's coming, it's Amen. coming. The, the Word of God says it, and it's going to come. Amen. You can just, it, it's there. It's there. Like I said, it's, you know, the, they say that the government ain't going to force it on you. Okay. That's what they say. The government ain't going to force it on you. Okay. But they won't force the vaccine on you, it says. But the government will force your employer to force it on you. Okay. So then your employer has to force it on you. You can't work unless you have it. You, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to come to work unless you go and get vaccinated. Okay. Then bring me that digital card so I can see it. Okay. So you know it's they're sneaky. It's mm -hmm. sneaky and and it's gonna happen. The word of God says it. And like I said, whether we believe it or not, it doesn't matter. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And we're closer and closer. Okay, closer and closer. Like I said, I still, I just started listening to this, this video and, but they're talking by the end of next year, by the end of 21, 21, they're going to have something digital. And one way to do it is the vaccines, you vaccine the kids, they're either, they were either thinking at birth or when they come and get their vaccines. Okay, so it's gonna happen. And we just need to be ready and we're gonna be caught up in the air. Amen. Yes, amen. We won't have to worry about it because our cares will be. Amen. We won't have to worry about it. Amen. We, we just need to make the rapture. And I'm gonna go to Revelation chapter 10. Revelation 10, 7 says, But in the last days of the but in the last days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. As he hath declared to his servants the prophets. See, at the sound, at the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. Okay? So now let's go to Revelation eleven fifteen through 19. In Revelation 15 to 19 says, And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of the world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto the, thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake 
and great hail and see and that's at the verse 15 and the seventh angel sounded see? so there was one scripture that I didn't get to read Matthew 24 31 It says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Mm -hmm. See, at the sound of a trumpet, mm -hmm. that's the last trumpet. When that last trumpet sounds, the Lord is going to send his angels, and they're going to gather his elect. Amen. See, and that's where I get the rapture from. That's where I believe they, that people get the rapture from. Because when the angels come and, and gather his elect, they're going to... Okay, so, so the Lord is coming, amen. He's coming. Let us be ready for the rapture. Amen. You know, keep reading your word. Keep reading the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Read the Word of God and, and know what it says. And like the Bible says, you know, be ready to give an answer for the hope that is in you. Amen. Amen. We need to do that. We need to be able to give an answer. Like I said, uh, you know, somebody emailed me and, and they want an answer. Amen. They want an answer on how to receive the Holy Ghost. They think they got it because they feel good. But feeling good ain't, ain't it. You got to speak in tongues. You got to speak in tongues with, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, the Bible says. Amen. That's how you know that you got it. And not only that, but, you know, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the, the fruit of the Spirit. You receive the fruits of the Spirit, which are love, joy, peace, and the list goes on and on. It's in Galatians 5.22, and, and not only that, but you, got, you get the mind of Christ. When you receive the Holy Ghost, the Bible says you have the mind of Christ. Amen. You have the mind of Christ. You don't have to go and lose your mind like they say. Because you have the mind of Christ. That's right. You'll never lose it. Yes. You'll never lose your mind if you have the mind of Christ. That's right, amen. Amen. It's, you haven't received the spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of love, power, and a sound mind. That's what you get when you receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, so I invite you to the altar. Come. Come and receive from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.